Hi there, I'm Justin from thecarflip.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take care of a dent such as this in a bumper with a heat gun. Now this looks like a hair dryer. It's not, I would not advise using this on your hair. It would melt it. But this gets up to, I forget how hot, but it's a 1500 watt dual temperature heat gun. I would advise you to go buy this exact one, except I don't know where it came from because I bought it at a flea market because that's how I roll. But we'll put a link below to a similar one that's priced competitively. But I'm gonna show you now the basic process. To fix a dent like this, ideally you can reach it from the inside. That is the case with this one. There's enough room for me to get up and under, put my arm up there and push from the inside. If that was not the case, you'd have to detach the bumper to move it out to where you could then push it. Um, so I'm gonna lay down for this one, just given we don't have it up on a lift. When you're using this, if you have it on, you're doing your thing, don't sit in your lap, because that gets really hot. Um, don't sit it on the ground where it's gonna catch something on fire. I've known people to put it on the wire, ruin their heat gun because they melt their wires. So we're gonna put this over here where it's out of the way. I'm gonna roll up one sleeve because we're about to do work. And I'm gonna put it, on, put it on setting number two. There's one and two, I want the hot setting. So the basic premise is we're gonna heat this up. I can get my hand behind it. Now we don't wanna get this too hot to where we've melted the plastic to where we essentially would damage it worse than it already is. But you'll get a feel for it from the inside of how pliable the plastic is getting. So what we're gonna do now in this video, I'm gonna let the video fast forward to where it's pliable enough to move and we're gonna jump in there. All right, so we're to a point where it feels pliable enough. I'm about to push it, so keep an eye on the dip. Just watch as I'm doing this, I'm going around. I wanna keep all the areas warm. So here I'm gonna push from the inside. It's a little warm, but we should pop it right out. Now you'll notice, our dents out, we've got a couple of imperfections. I'm gonna push these, try to get them to seal up there. Try to make it as perfect as possible. Sometimes if you push it and then let it cool, it's really hot on the inside. So for me, I'm just gonna let it be as it is. Let's take a look how it turned out. Now, this does not look like a brand new bumper. We weren't going for a brand new bumper. We wanted it to be less noticeable than it is. I'm gonna be flipping this car, AKA selling it for profit. So for me, I just want someone to walk by and not see that there was a dent there. We'll finish this up down here by using some touch-up paint to take care of this here. A couple spots here. We have other videos showing you how to do that. But our dent's gone. If I was looking really close, there's an imperfection right there, maybe, and possibly over here. But all in all, that's what we were going for. 